Hello and welcome back to a brand new video tutorial. Um, today, in this tutorial, we'll be doing a very simple technique that um, most designers and um, people just trying to learn basics of graphic design need to know, and that is to remove background of a selected image. So I'm going to show you two techniques today in GIMP to remove so. So I'm going to open up my first image, and this image is an image with a single color for the background. For example, this white one, this radish here. Before we do any of the selecting for this radish, always check that your image has an alpha channel. So go to right click on the layer, click add alpha channel. And if it does already, don't bother. The next step in the tutorial is where you can either pick between the fuzzy select tool or the color select tool. The color obviously selects certain colors, as you can see here, selects just those. And the fuzzy selects different patches, as you can see. So you can use either or. Today I'll be using the fuzzy select tool with the magic wand also knows. And I'm just going to be clicking on the white section of the background which I'd like to remove. So just click. As you see, it does a very nice clean cut selection for us. I'm just going to go to edit, sorry, select, shrink, and I'm going to shrink my selection by two. Did that blow? Yes. You don't have to shrink the selection at all. You can leave it as much and then patch it up with the eraser tool. So, for an example, then click con Command or Control X, depending on what operating system you're using. And that will remove the background for you. Using Command or Control Shift A to deselect. As you see, we've got still some patchy bits of white. To do this, this would be this radish would be more suited to use the color select tool as it will select all the white and remove it. So I'm going to use the fuzzy select tool to select the gaps in between the radish. I've also got a gap here. While holding shift and clicking, you can add that to your selection. I'll do so here. And then I'll hit Command or Control X, depending on what operating system you're using. That'll remove that. Command Shift A to disconnect. As you see, I've still got some white here. If you just want to remove this, you can grab your um, eraser tool and just erase all away. You can even use the um, fuzzy select tool just to patch it over, and that gives us a nice cut. And here we have just a simple radish. Excellent. Okay, so that is that technique is only used for single um, color backgrounds of images. The next technique I'm going to show you is by using the paths tool. So I'm going to open up. Um, this car here, the Tesla Model S. I'm just going to zoom in. Now, as you can see, this car has a, a, a background here with um, sky, sea, etc. I just want to take um, the car. I just want to render and remove all the background of the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that it has an alpha channel by right clicking, click add alpha channel. The next step I'm going to do is select our pass tool or pen tool known in Photoshop. And you can simply just zoom in to around 400%. Now, if I was taking my time doing this, I would zoom into 800%. But today for the tutorial sake, I'm just going to do a very messy cut and zoom into 200%. I definitely reckon you should cut at 800% to 400, 400 to 800% to do this. 
ensure that your pass tool is set on design and start clicking on your car clicking again and holding to edit as you can see here smaller smaller anchor points are better so if you do large big ones the cut will be very um, messy and you'll need to do a lot of patching up and if you do really small ones it'll work great as you can see here I'm doing very big ones and the cut will be not as nice as you guys will be doing so I'm just going to speed up the video of me selecting it and once we get up to cutting I'll um, resume Okay, once you have um, selected your whole car, as you can see here, and you have just come to your last point, hold control or command and um, over the anchor you'd like to connect to, your last anchor, and you want to just click on that anchor and it will form a link. From there, you can just edit your thing by dragging the two points here and you want to go over to your tool options here tool dialog and you want to go selection from path and this will produce a nice selection around your path to do the next step is you want to go to file or sorry select invert or control i and then command x and there we have our fully cut out cut. As you can see, my cut is actually quite nice, except down here and stuff. And as I said before, you guys will probably spend a lot more time in cutting this out than me. So that's just two very simple ways um, of rendering or known as removing the background of um your image yes um so i hope you learned a lot and um thank you very much for watching and i'm sure there's many other tutorials over on youtube that have this but um i hope mine helped so as i said before thanks for watching and i shall catch you in my next video see ya